Welcome back my friends, welcome to another video. So here I don't have the about contact services, I don't have these pages. So what we are going to tackle this this lecture, we are going to do a couple of changes here. Uh, first, uh, I want to create a pages controller. So I'm in HDoc, so I want to go CD. Uh, this was the name of Lara Ulti Pro. Now I'm inside, it will say PHP Artisan. So if you see all of this, and your very good spot we're gonna make a controller for the pages and we're gonna say CD sorry <laughs> PHP artisan make controller and I will say pages controller so I'm not gonna dash R with resources because I don't want to do that very good now I we need to go VS code because that is not started for me I want to open a folder and that's Lara Ulti Pro. By the way, I need to delete this one. And yep, I'm there probably. Now, if you, I go to app, if I go now to HTTP controllers, I do have this pages controller. I do have this home controller. I do have this pages controller. Also control P, I want to open the routes. Now, here we do have a couple of things now we don't need all of this actually we're gonna leave it for now but I am going to copy this one here and I will say pages controller and I'm gonna put it here like this so what I want to do is I want to specify all of them individually so home controller it's not actually it's called pages controller and that will go to about and the name will be about right so I will create all of the controllers here so I will say service services and the other one should be contact so I do have this here services and contact here now this should be here services and contact so I'm giving a name so this name actually you will be able to see is PHP artisan route RL or route list here it is so I do have the about I do have the contact and I do have the services they all get right in but we don't have it uh, in a pages controller so if I open control P pages control like this so I don't need to open it he through here so this is what I'm going to do now so if I'm jumping too much you know so far if you don't know where these things are located just to watch me I mean it's also saying here app HTTP controllers page pages controller right very good now also watch the previous lectures and you will see why I'm doing this because it's easier to navigate go folder by folder and confuse you now I'm done with this one in the pages controller by the way I'm not gonna put the landing page here why because I have a different idea so I'm gonna say here about page and what we will do we will say a public sorry public function and I will say about that was the name of the function and this will return a view view which we haven't created it will be inside a folder called pages and about very good now let's open up I'm just gonna close it here I mean resources view and I'm going to create new folders called pages pages like that now in this pages I will have new file about dot blade dot PHP I will have a new file called contact dot blade dot PHP if I go too fast please you can pause the video and I will create a new file here called services.blade.php so some students they think that I'm going fast some students they think they're going very slow so if I'm going slow speed it up the this one you don't have to listen to me if you want to be slower just pause the video that is my recommendation h1 here about we're gonna change this one later just to see if it's working uh, let's why why we not copy it yeah so we can copy it now here I will say services very good 
I'm just gonna close all of this and sorry and here I'm just gonna copy this one one two and why it's giving me like this make sure it's all nice indented indentation is very essential so the other one will be contact the last one will be services so I'm not gonna actually create this one so it's giving me an error like this because I do have two function with the same name so this is contact and here pages is contact I should save it now very good services in here services very good so I think I'm done here actually so I'm returning the view let's see what's happening here so if I go to about here it is about if I go to the contact I should go to the contact very easily if I go to where um, if I go to services I should go to the services all very good nice so what's left what's left here is I need to open up the about blade now here in this about blade I want to have I want to extend the layout right let's see what's happening here extends layouts dot app remember this was inside the layouts and I said app this old blade you can easily delete it I will delete it in future if you see it you don't need it so I'm extending this layouts blade in here I will say just section section B section content and I'll just put it here I'll just copy this one and see how it's going now if I go back to about very good I do have this one I do have that one and that is what I look for now also you can have here uh, give it about like, uh, like a class of p4 sorry p4 pad, that's padding 4 and refresh it it should be there so this is the about page this is the about page so here, my, ladies and gentlemen, you can style this one as you want, right? If you want to add the hero, you can add the hero here. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to open up Control-P, Services, and I'm going to paste it like here. And let's delete this one. This is a, the Services. This is our services page very good so let's make it a little bit more nicer so I'm just gonna copy it from oops from the top like that save it copy it again control P and contact very good paste it this is contact page oh contact page very good now if I refresh and if I go to contact I would like to see this is our contact page if I go to the services I have these services now next lecture we will link it up here because if we click it here they're not linking it's not working now login is working register is working but not about these guys here so we will do that one in the next lecture now what, what I can do is here I'm just gonna close this one close everything everything even that one a control P dot env file in here I will say Lara ulti pro because that is the name of my um, the name of my application so let's refresh it and if I go to the login I will have Lara ulti pro and that is actually shooting me to the landing page for the landing page I will create a special uh, new controller by the way you can do it here into pages controller you can have an index here and load it that uh, load here the view which view this view landing page that blade but I'm not gonna do it like that you are free to experiment you're free to do whatever you want 
but this is how I'm going to do it in this course. So um, I've changed this one. Okay, what we can do here, PHP, I'm just gonna copy this one. So I'm gonna say PHP my admin, and I will have a strange error here. You don't have to ignore this. Now I'm just gonna create a, what? I'm gonna create a new database called Lara Ulti Pro. That's it. I'm just gonna create it. So what's the next step? Here it is. What's the next step? And the next step is our EMV file. I'm just gonna close this one. So the database is Lara Ulti. Nah, not like that. Lara Ulti Pro. And I'm gonna save it. That's pretty much it. So we hooked it up the database. It's MySQL and I think we are good to go now. So let's continue working in the next lecture. We have done a lot of things. We will change this part here. And yeah, so I think should be interesting from now on because we have the front end done and dusted. Now we need to do the back end with, and we need to create user panel and admin panel later. So that's the goal, Lara Ulti Pro. Or if you want a different database, create a different database, link it here. That it. That's it. So thank you for watching this video and also the app name. You can change it to any name that you want. I'm not going to provide any uh, logos. So if you want, you can create a logo. Be uh, work with me, but also add more things because you're going to make mistakes and you're going to fix those mistakes. And that is how you can learn to be a very good coder. So thank you very much and see you in the next lecture.